Next, uh, we would like to give the floor to the Defense Council to proceed uh, with further questions. Qui peut poursuivre son questionnement. Merci, Ms. Kenizales. Thank you, Mr. President. Vous avez déclaré, you monsieur, stated que monsieur that Mr. Chin Pon was your cousin. Vous, vous plaît, Could you quel est le lien de clarify what is the exact link of kinship that you have with him? Is one of your parents the brother or the sister of monsieur one Chimpon, of the parents of Mr. Chin Pon? Or is the latter a more distant relative of yours? Response. Response. Chun Pam or the Ned was the cousin. Était le cousin. And uh, he was uh, at the mother's, my mother's side. Uh, he lived in du côté Siem Reap uh, province. Il vivait dans la province de Siem Reap. <coughs> Ms. Kenizares, so must I understand that one of Mr. Chimpon's parents was the, mother, the, the sister or the brother of your mother? Response. Response. Was the Gold brother Chun of my mother? Le frère de ma mère. He was the father of Chun Pom. C'était lui Pum. le père de Chun Pom. En tant que parti civil, vous êtes autorisé, as a civil party, you are entitled to come to the hearings and to listen to the witnesses' statements as well as the statements from other civil parties. Could you then please indicate to us that you took advantage of this opportunity during the previous days? And if you had heard the statements of people who had previously been detained at S21. Response. Response. I have not learned this from any other person. Appris ceci d'aucune autre example, the personne. Par who exemple, was detained and who was my cousin, une personne qui a été détenue et qui était uh, mon cousin. He lived uh, with me in cette my same unit. Uh, vivait avec moi dans l'unité, uh, dans la même unité. Uh, unit uh, three la one seven. Dixième. And no other NGOs et or other aucune autre people NG, who ONG um, helped me autre made up the story. It was the, the real story that I obtained uh, this uh, biography of my brother, uh, but of course ad hoc uh, was the one who gave me uh, such a document. De mon cousin par le biais de ad hoc. Ms. Canizares, I believe, therefore, that you, you misunderstood the question I was putting to you. The question is very specific. In the previous days, have you been participating in hearings? Have you listened to the statements of people who previously had been detained at S21? Response. Before I testify here, I had been here several times. Ici, je suis venu à plusieurs reprises. Pourriez-vous, et ce sera ma dernière question, can you therefore tell us which statements you heard? Which statements from which witnesses you heard?
Bakı Response First I heard the statement from Le témoignage Uncle Van Nat L'oncle Van Nat Puis celui de Bu M. Chumay et de Bu Meng Et enfin Nong Champal Ms. Canizares, thank you for this answer. I no longer have any questions, Mr. President. The President, we know the presence of uh, the civil party lawyer. De la partie, des partis civils, vous avez Tissina, la parole. Maître Tissina, Monsieur le Président, Madame, Messieurs les juges, May I be permitted, uh, to me donneriez-vous la permission de confirmer auprès de la partie civile un point en particulier pour ce qui est de, du changement de nom so, pendant la période du régime, car si je puis, je souhaiterais poser cette question à la partie civile. To do that. Because uh, the President, je ne vous autorise pas car to be put to Mr. Pocon comes to an end now. Le, and we would like to thank you, Pocon, for Pocon coming to terminé. the court to testify before the chamber. De rendu auprès du tribunal pour, uh, témoigner. The chamber notes. The difficulties La note you have faced in responding to several questions put ce by the parties to the proceedings, and that the, the fact which happened many Et years ago il est noté could également uh, que des fêtes survenues il make y a you feel fort longtemps difficult emotionally if you have to recall the past des but now it comes to an end so passé. the court official could you please make Cette sure that uh, Mr. Pocahontas ce can be sent uh, to his uh, residence with the coordination of the VESU. Avec, uh, Mr. Pocahontas, you are now free to go home and we don't have further questions pour que to le be put to you. Chez lui. Nous plus de à vous poser, Monsieur Pocahontas. Merci. I want to look at the president. The court no, no, no. is instructed to bring civil party E2 slash AT or Jin e made into the court. Et veuillez, uh, l'huissier, veuillez amener le témoin E280 ou Jin met dans la salle, dans le prétoire. Look, three, the president, Mrs. Chin Maid, Madame Chin Maid, is Chin Maid uh, your name? Est-ce que Chin Maid est votre nom? Response. Réponse. Before I joined uh, the Revolutionary Avant Army, 
in the women unit uh, at my hometown, they called me Tme. But when I joined uh, the revolutionary, my name was Kmet. The president, when did you start to Question, use Chin Mate? Avez-vous commencé à utiliser le nom Chin Mate? I started to Réponse. use Chin Mate after the revolutionary. Uh, in 1979, when I 19 reunited with my family, I used uh, the name Chin Maid instead of Kun Maid. So, Question. so Kum Kum was the uh, family name of your father. That's correct. C'est correct. Uh, C'est correct. So who Question. was Chin? I mean, the, the, the family name en tant que with nom the name Chin. De famille Can you tell us a little bit, said the president? Pouvez-vous nous en dire plus? Chin made. Réponse. My father's name was Kum Mon père. Chin. Était comme I used Chin, Chin as my family name. The president, uh, besides your Question. last, uh, your, your name, excuse me, made, uh, did you use other names Hormis or have you still used the other names? Non, là, uh, avez -vous eu noms? The president, uh, could you please maître. be reminded that uh, wait until you see the red light? On the mic before you can respond, otherwise your communication, Sinon your words or response could not be communicated uh, to the international judges and audience. So please stay put uh, to the rule. What is the other names other Donc than ma mate uh, you have en used. De ce nom de mate, quels sont les autres noms que vous avez Response. pu utiliser? Réponse. I'm sorry that I did not pay attention Pardon to the mic. Uh, in my home time, the they could not call me Kme, moi, so they just called me mate. On m'appelait simplement mate. The president, how old are you now? Quel âge avez-vous maintenant? Response, I'm 51 Réponse, years old. 51 ans. The president, where do you live? Question, où résidez-vous? Response, Réponse, I live je vis. in... The president, uh, what is your occupation? Response. I am an assistant uh, to the village in and I help the poor children in the village. Des and I ask from the organization to supply with rice and money to support uh, 180 children in my village so that they continue, can continue their education. Du village afin President, pour vivre, pour suivre where, leur was, education. Uh, where is your hometown? President, votre Lieu de naissance. Response. I lived, uh, I was born Réponse, in Chun Lu, Balang district, Kampong Tom dans province. Le de Balang, province de Kampong Tom. The president, Question. what is your father's name? Nom de votre père. Is he still alive Et votre père or est-il encore en vie? Response. Réponse. His name was 
Kim Jin, he Kim died Jin. in 2003. But the president, what is your Nom mother's de name? Votre mère? Is, he, is she still alive or deceased? Respond. Her name Elle is Loi Mon. Mon. She died in 1993. When I was three months old. Décédée quand j'avais l'âge de trois mois. The president. Question. In this case, in which Kang Gek Il, the accused, affaire, alias Deutsch, l'accusé Kang Gek Il, alias Deutsch, is involved and you have filed your application to join vous avez a civil party. De de we would like to civile. know Dans whether contexte, you would like to seek si reparations on your own or would, ja would you like to waive your right uh, to your lawyers to act on your behalf? Ceci à vos avocats, afin vous Response. Response. I have filed uh, the civil party application to find justice for the victims pour, uh, and for me, and I would like victimes, to give the opportunity to the court to make the decision accordingly. Je m'en remettrai à la décision de la cour. The president, uh, what is your relationship uh, votre, uh, or your link uh, to the fact as alleged, for example, the facts entre votre in relation to S21 or Chung Act. In at S21, there are several S21 facts, so we would like to ask you whether you were the si direct victim of the crimes uh, committed at S21 or you are here on behalf of your relatives si or victims, uh, sorry, uh, or des parents, uh, relatives uh, who died or suffered during the regime. Uh, response. Uh, I am here on behalf of myself Mérouge. and réponse. my colleagues in my unit uh, who died uh, during the regime. Au nom des collègues de mon unité qui uh, sont morts pendant the le president. régime Khmer Rouge. Question. What happened to you personally in relation to S21 prison and uh, the re correction uh, center at Presa. So which particular fact are you related? Centre de Pressor. Quels sont les faits qui Response. vous concernent? Réponse. I was arrested été and I did not know the location where I were Je detained. Ne pas I did not know whether it was S21 or Pressor back si then. S21 ou Pressor. The president. Question. So you filed uh, your application because you une were de the direct victims of the Democratic Cambodia because you were arrested and detained and interrogated. But uh, you have no idea where you would Mais then be detained. Is that correct? Pas où vous étiez détenu. C'est correct? Response. Réponse. I remember that uh, when I was Je arrested that night, I was sent to a detention facility, and there détention. were rooms. Et il y avait and uh, when I entered the room, I saw et à dans une de ces two pièces, female detainees, but I did not know the name of the location. Mais je ne pas le nom and de I knew that I was sent to a building Que uh, next to um, dans un the room next to the staircase or the steps. Dans the president, you were arrested by the Khmer Rouge soldiers and detained. How long were you detained? Uh, if you can recollect that event. How long were you detained? If you can recollect that event. How long were you detained? 
question. You said you suffered from Vous injustice dites avoir acts souffert de d'actes inflicted on your relatives and loved ones. So who were they? Dont ont souffert you claim vos that uh, et vos parents have suffered uh, from the regime and that you are here to act on their Vous behalf to seek uh, reparations for nom them. Pour, uh, obtenir justice pour eux. Response. Réponse. I am here to seek justice for my colleagues in my unit. Les collègues We worked de in unité. division Nous étions for five zero. À la à la in 1977, my en female colleagues were arrested, Mais and a lot of people would be gradually arrested de when times uh, passed by. I talked to the new tour, chief who were replaced and about uh, the fate of the previous uh, sisters and I was told that they would uh, be sent to uh, be educated and I did not ask them further. Uh, the president, en, en so you could not uh, describe or question. give the names of the Vous colleagues of those people. You only know that uh, they were the women who worked in the same unit and who disappeared. If you can Alors, prove the names of your colleagues, pouvez, si vous for example, collègues, anyone you claimed your relatives, uh, then the chamber uh, would be able parent, to exemple, ask particular questions in relation to the backgrounds of those individuals. Otherwise, if you le, only give the brief description personnes. of those people, si then the chamber would not be able to uh, identify those uh, people you said. Uh, and uh, at the beginning, the chamber notes that you said uh, you are here on your behalf also. So the chamber would be able to put questions in relation to the facts in which you have been suffered, Donc, uh, not the facts uh, in relation to your uh, colleagues because uh, you don't know who they were. Vous avez connu, uh, uh, do you understand? Response. Yes, I do understand, Mr. President. Oui, je comprends, Monsieur le President. So, said the President, uh, you have filed the application to join a civil party on your behalf because you have suffered nom, and also on your behalf of your colleagues and relatives. Uh, now, other than you yourself, uh, who else are you here on their behalf? Can you tell us the names? Pouvez-vous nous donner les noms de ces autres personnes Respond. que vous représentez? I am Réponse. here on behalf of Je first myself and my five uh, nom de people. Cinq uh, personnes. Uh, the president, could you please repeat uh, the names of these uh, people uh, clearly and please uh, give the full name and sex le nom, uh, and, and gender, I mean, and also their kinship aussi, vous plaît, uh, with you. La For example, de uh, the first avec name, vous. what was the relationship of that person Donc, to you, and also the full name would be appreciated if you can tell the uh, court, intégral, and, si vous le and this detailed information is very important. Pour la une information très importante. Yes, Mr. President, party. I do not know their surnames because we never ask for surnames. We only refer to each other by brother. Ja, a female, she was the chairman of a battalion and Jum was also a female combatant in the same unit and brother Nam was a member. She's female. Nam, and La, 
was the chief of the big chef. unit. At that time, none of us used any surnames. We only referred to by nous, nous using elder sisters. Intel, il n'y avait pas de nom de famille. What about the fifth one? Et you only mentioned four so far. Sain was also part of the management team within the female unit. partie de cette unité de femmes. The five people you mentioned Question. Ces cinq personnes que vous évoquez, were they related to you or vous were they your superiors or your work colleagues with the female division de travail des of the third division unité, number 450? The five people were the leadership of my female division. They looked after euh, me when I joined that division. They treated me very well and they educated me. C'est elles qui ont fait mon éducation. Mon President, before 17 April 1975, where were you? And what was your occupation? qu'aviez-vous comme activité? Commit. Before 1975, in late 1974, I was at my base village. The female younger than 18 were gathered to serve the female revolution. In my village, they gathered 20 of us, and we were sent to Kampung Jam province, to Jung Prey district. district we stationed there, and they organized us into subgroups, and, and we were provided military training, how to crawl, for instance, how to disassemble and cleanse the weapons, how to mine and demine. So we basically Comme learned the basic miné, skills. Donc we studied for three months, uh, then we were transferred to mois. station Ensuite, in Bati, Bati district. district de Bati, we Bali. were assigned to carry Bati. ammunition to the battlefield in Kokyan village, sur le in Kampung Rote battlefield, in Mokampu, some Bumis, along those front battlefields. In the afternoon, we also carried food to give to the soldiers, and for soldats, the wounded soldiers, we carried them blessés, to the hospital at Chung Knok. Chung Knok. No, the on the 17 April 75, where were you and what were you doing on that day? Commit on the 17 April 1975, I was stationed at Mukampul district, which was opposite Prey Pneu. After the battle was over, and from the battlefield, I could see the situation of the liberation. We were told that Phnom Penh was liberated at about 9 o'clock, and we could uh, see the flies flying uh, above us. We were afraid that uh, we would be bombarded, so we hid ourselves. There were 12 nous avions peur d'être bombardés in my unit and we lived there at the Mokampul. On the 17th and 18th we were collected by a boat. Nous sommes montés dans une embarcation. The president where were you taken by that boat? Où est-ce que cette embarcation vous a emmené? We were taken but on a motorboat, the 12 of us, and we disembarked before the group pagoda on the other side of the riverbank at, river at Preik Pneu. The president, Question. from that day onward, when you claimed 
you were arrested by the Khmer Rouge force and detained between that period until the day of your arrest. What were you doing? And where were you? Qu'avez-vous fait et où vous trouviez-vous? Commit. Réponse. When my unit was gathered to what group pagoda, we were asked to walk. We were marcher. fully armed. Nous étions we, armés. Each of us had a gun Chacun with the spare ammunition and a sack at the back. We walked to Prechno, and then we walked to Krangjumra and the Krujongwa Bridge, or the Japanese Bridge. Then my unit chief ordered us to collect the war spoils and gather it in one place. After we finished collecting the war spoils at the Japanese Bridge to Prechno, during within that that distance, also at the factories. Also Nous at the rubber factory along that road, objets, uh, usine, my unit cleansed that area and collected the wall spoils. After that, the, we were asked to clean up the houses, On nous a aussi the fait buildings, uh, les maisons, the schools, les the pagodas, etc. And then we stationed in our own respective unit from Prechno to the Japanese bridge. Près du pont Japonais. Later on, Plus after tard, we cleaned up that section, then the chief of the unit assigned the female unit to do rice farming in Tulko at Bang Troyab. We started doing the rice farming in 1976. We did both dry and rainy uh, rice farming, and we got a lot of uh, harvest because of the rich fertilizer. So we competed against other units, tried to achieve the 3 hectares to 3.5 hectares. 3 tons per hectare, correction. So we did not really have much time to rest as we focused on the rice production. In about mid-77 or late-77, then we were transferred back to the rubber factory near the Japanese bridge, and we were asked to raise 40 pigs the 12 of us raised 40 pigs, but because of the lack of experience, when the pigs delivered the young babies, then the young babies died, then we were reassigned to put the unhasked rice into the sacks and gathered them to put into the warehouse. Later on, we were arrested. Et c'est le président que nous avons été arrêtés. You described the account that you were arrested and detained. Vous dites que vous avez été and also, can you describe the, your general observation during the time of your arrest and detention until the time you were released from that detention center and returned to your normal living conditions? And subsequently, until the liberation day of 7 January 79. Can you describe your accounts or your experience between these periods? Commander, uh, Mr. President, before I was arrested, they, they checked and followed up on my biography from the province to the unit back and forth. And they learned that uh, my father was a former regime official. And during the biography, I was asked to put the details, and they took my photograph on two occasions. I did not pay much attention to that fact. Some people disappeared. And later on, I was arrested on the 10th of November at night time. I thought at the time that because they had already 
educated me for a couple of times already. Probably it is my turn now, as some people had disappeared before me. At that time, while I was carrying the unhasked rice, my name was called. On a appelé mon nom. And when I got back down, I went to see the person. The two combatants told me that comrade mate, brother Wen, called you. Wen was the new commander of the division. He came from the southwest zone. De la zone plutôt sud-ouest. I, I felt uncertain at the time what would happen, but I felt maybe it's my turn. Because why they came to call me at midnight. So I was called to board a vehicle to go to Brother Wen's house, which was near the Japanese bridge. So after I left from kilometer number six to the Japanese bridge to that Brother Wen's house, it was quiet. And then I asked, where is Brother Wen and why he want to see me at midnight? The two combatants did not say anything and just asked me to wait and that maybe he was busy having a meeting. So I was waiting for him. I almost knocked over one in a while. And I asked them, why don't they bring me to their office? Later on, they arrested me and put me into the vehicle, and they blindfolded me. There was a driver and there were two guards. So I was put in that truck and then the truck took off. I didn't know the direction where the vehicle was driving because I myself, I, only, I was only familiar between the Japanese bridge and Tulkok area. Besides that, for example, to Po Chintong or Po Chumpu uh, Wan, I never came to that area. Oh, later on, I was brought into the detention center, then I was put into the room. The, the blindfold was removed. Then I could see other female units from the same unit, Comrade Gyun and Yad. When I saw them, we wept. And we didn't know why we were arrested and brought to that detention center. We asked each other each other, what was the location? Both of them told me just to be quiet and answer the question that I would be asked. So I wept, and all our hands were tight at the time. On the third day, the troisième jour, I was called to be interrogated. So I was taken out then. When I was taken out, they blindfolded me and they took me to an interrogation, ro interrogation room. I was asked whether I ever participated in the education by the network of a CIA or the KGB. I could not think of such an event because at that time we never joined any uh, secret force or spies besides working in the rice fields and watering the rice field or making fertilizer. And only my senior people held the meeting. For us, we only have the livelihood meetings to criticize or sub-criticize in order to improve the production within the unit. I was asked a, a couple of times and I was tortured. I didn't want to be bitten hard because they only bit me a little bit and I felt scared and I became unconscious. So I was taken back into the room. Later on, I was interrogated uh, again. So I was interrogated three times during the 15 days period, and my response was the same. Until the 15th or the 16th day, I was transferred. I was put into a vehicle, and the vehicle took off. I didn't know the direction of where the vehicle went. I thought probably they are going to take me to be killed. And while I was 
living uh, during the 15 days period, I could hear the screaming and the crying of people. Although I could not see anybody, we were put into a room and the doors were locked from outside. I did not know that location was a tour slide or S21. I only learned that it was the detention center where I was put in. And I was put into a building and the room was next to the staircase. That's what, is, that's what I can recall. After so the three of us, Comrade June and Jad and myself, were put into the vehicle. And at uh, the unit 17, then the female unit chief came to receive us. So we were ordered to disembark the vehicle, and then they untied our hands. Then we were ordered to stay there and that, that we would be received. So then that female unit chief came to receive us, made another biography, and we were taken into to work straight away. We were given the tool to work straight away on the ground. While I was detained at the detention center, I was given gruel. But I could not eat because I thought they would just uh, kill me and I was just feeling that bad. I felt so disappointed because I tried very hard while I served them at the battlefield. The President, President. Uh, commit, please try to uh, collect yourself. Madame, do you think you are able to continue? Do you want to have a, a break, a short break, in order to recompose uh, yourself? Vous remettre de votre émotion. Mr. President, while I was living at the unit 17, I lived there for three days. Then Comrade Moon and Comrade Jan disappeared. I asked the unit chief, her name was Nyo. I asked, what happened to the other two sisters of mine? And I, I was told they were transferred to another unit. And you don't have to worry about them. And don't, don't ask too much. So I kept weeping. Previously, there were only three of us who knew each other. I did not know the rest. The president, do you think you can continue or you would like to have a break now and continue in the afternoon? Mr. President, I want to ask the President to continue. Can you continue or you would like to have a break now? Mr. President. Commit. I can continue a little bit more. Non, je peux encore continuer un peu. Says commit. After Comrade Moon and Jad disappeared, I lived with that female unit, the unit 17. So I was put into Group 3. Au group 3. At 2 p. At 2 a.m., we were woken up, on nous a fait, on nous a réveillé, and we lined up at 2:30 or 3 p.m. Then we departed to transplant the rice. It was the transplanting season at the time. La saison du repiquage à ce moment-là. The working and the living condition at that time were so miserable. 
I lived there for only 10 days and I became so skinny. I worked very hard day and night in order to rebuild myself. During each meal at 11 a.m. when we were given rice, the previous females, they had experience. So for the gruel amongst the 12 people grouped, so they put one ladle of gruel into each bowl, and there, there was a large bowl of soup, so for those who used to the condition, they could pick some uh, leaves or herbs or mint while they were working, and during the meal time, they put those extra leaves or mint into their bowls uh, as a supplementary food. Actually, we only ate like one spoon of gruel en fait, or rice, but then we, have to, we had to take like 20 or 10 spoons of soup. And Et when I finished my gruel, I asked for more, and I was told that was the food ration. Plus, disait, voilà, la ration. So later on, I learned their trick. Tard, then I followed them, and our camarade. health became Et so weak. Ruse. Some of us failed, fainted while transplanting the, the rice. Some failed and died. And people kept missing or disappearing from the unit. And every four or five days, a new group was brought in in a truck. So actually, the unit force became expanded. And the old people kept disappearing. And I was wondering where they had gone. But I, they are not to ask, as I had been warned. One day, my unit chief told me, Meet and your team have come to Meet, see me. Et ton équipe venait so me I voir. asked her what she wanted. Je ce she was we, the four of us, was assigned et elle dit que to show the transplant. Nous then we were repitrage. ordered to actually, to actually carry the plow. And then we had to team ourselves to plow the rice field. Nous avons dû labourer les rizières en équipe. Actually, although the soil had been plowed before, Alors we had to team ourselves to plow the land. Et nous avons dû le faire and one female was so et weak, she fell. Femme était si faible elle est tombée. So we both fell. Et nous sommes du coup tombés toutes les deux. And the man who was who was uh, plowing by using us, qui he bit that female and she got Caesar straight away on the ground and both of us were bitten and later on I felt unconscious et and, and we were scolded that we could not do our work. I, after that I waved and Après that cela, lady, that woman was still unconscious and later on we carried her back into our uh, resting place. Later on we were assigned to tard, build canals, to dig the canals or to build the dams. Et à la construction de barrages. And then we were asked to bring appropriate tools the carrying baskets, the holes, for instance, in order to dig the soil to build the dams. We were so hard working at the time. We determined, although the food was insufficient in order to survive, we had to work hard. I was so weak at the time. Because amongst um, those people who were at the time that I was there, Parce que some of them had already là, gone, and when I felt I was bitten déjà, on uh, the spot. Parti. Et moi, quand, the uh, president, I think it is appropriate time now uh, to have a break. Le président, je crois que le moment est venu de faire une pause.
We will now have a, a break for lunch. Nous allons faire la pause déjeuner. Before the break, the chamber would like to make uh, some observations regarding the public participation in this uh, proceeding. La participation du public. The chamber has noticed that during the last few days, jours, there has been some disorderly behaviors by the public audience in entering and exiting the audience gallery during the proceeding, although Durant we have mentioned that the participants should enter before sont the chamber starts the proceeding. Que, uh, so please uh, look at the procedure on this matter and respect the time donc and please enter the room de de before the time as we announced. Avant L'heure de la reprise. And the court officer who is in charge of coordinating the audience, please Et je demande look at the matter and try to make it smooth. De faire en sorte que and tout se passe if bien. you are unclear on the time of the proceeding or Et any si other matters de de relating de to the delay in entering back into the gallery, please. Consult us directly or talk to the court officer and do not allow this disorderly behavior to continue. The chamber will now adjourn. We will resume this afternoon from 1.30 p.m. Court officer. Je demande à l'huissier. Please arrange uh, to provide necessary refreshment and meal and the room for the civil party. Security guard, take the accused back to the waiting facility and bring him back before 1.30.